it gives me a great pleasure to give my talk in icur iur icon 22 in calcutta on physiological pain portals and mukherji regime for rheumatoid arthritis i am very thankful dr en mukherji and the entire calcutta organizing team who have uh, helped me by inviting me here and giving me the opportunity to be giving you a talk on this fascinating subject which is beyond the current knowledge rheumatoid arthritis includes a wide variety of afflictions including joints surroundings and we all know it's autoimmune in nature these conditions constitute a significant proportion of patients who visit an orthopedic surgeon's clinic the two significant complaints of the patient pain and progression of disease with its debilitating effects pain portal injections are safe effective and inexpensive jabs to give lasting pain relief at a very low cost mukherjee regime is a methotrexate based regime which is safe can be continued lifelong and does not involve costly biologicals scb or sodium channel block pain portal is a phrase coined by the authors to identify mark and name the specific portals where injecting sodium channel blockers produces rapid and dramatic relief from pain due to variety of conditions dose injection its dilution and composition remain the same for all portals and all conditions the volume is 1 to 5 ml per portal and depth varies from subperiosteal to subcutaneous depending on the specific portal the composition varies because it is different for trauma neurological conditions or myofascial conditions but 0.5% xylocaine is the most important ingredient the composition of cocktail for neurological conditions or myofascial conditions including rheumatoid arthritis is 3 ml of 2% lidocaine 30 micrograms of chlorine 20 mg of dipamidrol 6 ml for water of injection making 10 ml enough for four portals in one patient a very important slide please take a photograph this is what you are going to use in your practice and when you repeat injection you just avoid steroid so you just have 3 ml of 2 percent lidocaine 30 mg of clonidine and 6 ml of water making it 9 ml what are the pain portals there are the exact spots where the cocktail has to be injected the upper limb portals are called alpha portals lower limb portals are called the beta portals trunk portals are called the tau portals head and neck portals are called the caput portals patient here is a patient who is not able to walk on her own polyarticular rheumatoid you can see her hands the case has been sent by my friend from south america her shoulder is diminished she is an arthritis of the hip arthritis of the knee spondyloarthropathy is the spine need a lot of support and not able to get up and walk but immediately after the injection you can see that she is raising a thumbs up is having a smile and is able to properly get down and walk on her own without support this is just about 15 minutes after the injection you can see the pre and post operative status of the patient and you can see how well she is doing during this period there she is happy and smiling and there she is dancing this was she when she came for the injections 
Alpha one portal is extremely useful in shoulder issues. You can see this patient is hardly able to move his right shoulder, the left shoulder moves very well. And he's explained to the doctor that he's tried all sorts of treatments. And now immediately after the injections, he's moving his hand as good as the other one and explaining where the injection has been given, which is in the first web space. This is from Afghanistan or Pakistan. In a similar manner, the patient before injection, and you can see how rapidly and beautifully he moves his shoulder after injection. Another one, when my nurse went to the patient's home, he was not able to eat, eat fully, eat properly because the hand, and now immediately, within 20 minutes after the portal injection, how beautifully he is able to move his hand up and do his work. Portal injections are really magical. Initially described for disc and neurological issues, these portal blocks are turning out to be increasingly useful in arthritic conditions and may soon become game changers in many situations. This talk will be limited to the use of sodium channel blockers in rheumatoid conditions and thus joint specific portals will be described. Alpha portals or the upper limb portals. Alpha 1 is in the first web space. There we are. And it is in the fleshy part. Injection is into the muscle. Volume is about 3 ml and in 12 to 15 minutes you get the effect. That's the spot. And that is an important spot for all rheumatoid shoulders, hip shoulders, and also for periarthritis shoulders and suprathmanitis issues and related issues. Alpha 2 portal, principal indication is improving mobility in the rheumatoid hand. It is given the carpal tunnel. It is given subcutaneous in between the two tendons on the volar aspect. And that improves the mobility of the rheumatoid hand. Alpha 3 is on the lateral epicondyle and alpha 4 is above the medial epicondyle. Both of these are intramuscular and these are the elbow portals which are very useful for all RA afflictions of the elbow. Alpha 5 portal is a deltoid insertion portal with intramuscular and a 3 ml of injection is given and which is an adjuvant to an alpha 1 portal for all shoulder issues. For all alpha portals, duration between injection and start of relief is 10 minutes. Duration of action is five days to many weeks and they can be repeated as often as you want. After the first time, we do not use long acting steroids in the injection. The beta portals are lower limb portals. And the three important beta 1, 2, and 3, beta 1 is 2 centimeters in front and anterior to the lateral malleolus. Beta 2 is just behind the lateral malleolus. And beta 3 is just behind the posterior inferior border of the medial malleolus. A combination of these is effective in all lumbar and dorsal spondyloarthropathies, producing dramatic relief as shown in the video previously. If you remember a South American lady who had almost had to be carried into the clinic of my friend Dr. Sexto on how well she danced at the end of the uh, procedure. Beta 4 is 1 centimeter anterior inferior to the head of the fibula, the introduced space between the tibia and fibula, and beta 5 is 6 centimeters below the knee into the popliteal fossa, below the joint line into the bulk of the gastrosoleus muscle, triceps surai. And these two produce a very effective relief for knee arthritis, hamstring spasm, spasm, fixed flexion deformity, etc. And give her a dramatic relief in 20 minutes, lasting for from one week to many, many months. Particular rheumatoid of the knee, 
the patient who could not walk he is my butcher he came to my house on sunday and his knee was extremely swollen extremely painful you can see my dog's barking i have just cleaned his knee and given him a beta 5 and beta 4 portal beta 5 is given in the calf and there he is 10 minutes after the injection able to get up and walk and with a slight limp he is walking but he is able to sit and flex his knee to 90 degrees that's him when he came back in the evening to deliver the mutton and you can see him normally walking and he is also sitting on the floor and squatting and telling me that he has never been so happy in his life this was him when he had come up and i had to be lifted by two boys beta 6 portal is a spot lateral to the neuroscular bundle in inguinal region and this is the hip portal which gives dramatic relief in hip joint arthritis in 10 minutes and lasting from one week to many many months tau portal the trunk portals wide indications from fracture ribs to herpes infection we are to talk about only rheumatoids i'm not uh, dilating on the trunk portal but you can just see an example of uh, herpes and in 3 days you can see how beautiful it healed antivirals are given of course the spondyloarthritic portals are tau 4 tau 5 tau 6a b and tau 7 portals they are given in the posterior superior leg spine in the sacral leg joint in the spinous processes and transverse processes of the ribs and subscapular and suprascapular areas and they help the pain dramatically the pain portal book is now on its second edition the third edition is being printed possibly in 2022 23 and has been translated into italian where dr mario tangari has taken the responsibility and is also being translated into japanese there is also being a translation in spanish and german so this trend has caught the world over and now we come to the mukherjee regime for osteoarthritis and this dr arup mukherjee who is in fortis hospital delhi otherwise practices in kanpur and mukherjee regime is a methotrexate based regime which is safe can be continued lifelong and does not involve costly biologicals and yella pragada subbarao was a great scientific mind who discovered both methotrexate and folic acid methotrexate interferes with folic acid metabolism which is needed for cell multiplication and slows down rapidly multiplying cells rheumatoid arthritis is associated with rapidly proliferating synovial and periarticular tissues which methotrexate neutralizes errors in conventional medical management of ra they give large dose of medicines there is no neutralization of toxicity and most rheumatologists give medications during flare up and none during remissions then they switch over to costly biologicals when the patient is in trouble and the cost and toxicity of biologicals are both very very high ra is a lifelong disease like diabetes and hypertension and needs lifelong meditation and these medications need to be devoid of toxicity effective affordable and being taken for years or decades most rheumatologists prescribe 7.5 or 15 mg of methotrexate weekly as a single dose which is technically wrong in the mukherjee regime only 2.5 mg of methotrexate is used and that too on alternate days 3 days a week on the other 3 days to avoid toxicity on the normal cells 5 mg of folic acid is given mukherjee regime is a 4 or 5 dmrd regime 
and most drugs are given in low doses on alternate days in addition to dmards vitamin d vitamin a probiotic high protein diet supplements and protective agents are added you can see an example in just one year an arthritic knee who was fit for a knee replacement patient was petrified of surgery he refused surgery took mukherjee regime and you can see how the joint was improved another case of a monoarticular rheumatoid of a hip 2014 2015 2015 and 2016 you can see in two years how the joint space has dramatically improved and this is the clinical picture of the patient whose radiography shown previously the mukherjee prescription has three drugs empty stomach drugs after lunch drugs and post dinner drugs fasting folic acid 5 mg monday wednesday friday mesotrexate 2.5 mg on tuesday thursday saturday vitamin d 6000 mg on sunday tablet pantoprazole 40 mg daily capsule vitamin a 5000 units monday wednesday and friday after lunch ugra trimod 25 mg once daily for 10 days only 10 tablets vitamin b12 1500 mg tuesday thursday saturday hydroxychloroquine chlorquinoline 400 mg monday wednesday friday sulfasalazine or saz 1 g monday wednesday friday and lefra 20 mg tuesday thursday saturday any probiotic 3 billion spores has to be taken on alternate days after dinner iron ferrous ascorbate 100 mg one, one tablet monday wednesday friday tab vitamin e with levo cartenin one tablet daily and tab methyl bisphenone 4 mg daily for 15 days and 2 mg daily thereafter during remission stage stop steroids during exacerbation stage restart steroid is one of the best dmrd 2 mg metrol per day is a very low dose non adults secrete 30 mg cortisol per day in rheumatoids steroids dry up and that is not secreted ignotrimod 25 is initially given for 10 days only and may be repeated once in a year or two depending on the exacerbations and the carry home message from the stock think simple and out of the box master pain portal is a real game changer long term methotrexate is not harmful if it is neutralized with folic acid and taken on alternate days don't be afraid of low dose steroids rheumatoid is a lifelong disease that needs lifelong treatment follow up every 3 months and modulate doses and modify the regime if you are interested to learn more or join a teaching group about pain portals or low dose dmrds in rheumatoid copy the slide send me a message i will add it to your group thank you very much thank you very very much